We're dealing with some rain moving through, mm -hmm. right? Yes, we are. And some strong storms in some yeah. areas of the state right now. Possibly a downpour here or there. We're okay. not really actually luckily enough seeing any storms, any isolated storms, but it could be possible through today. Uh, but Caitlin, I do want to show you some rainfall totals from so far from this morning. So in Brookfield, we already got more than a half an inch of rain. So that's pretty substantial. In Wilkit, we already got 0.47 inches. So western Connecticut has been seeing a good amount. Uh, eastern Connecticut really hasn't seen too much of anything just yet. So we're going to keep you up updated here on channel three. This is actually when the bulk of the rainfall is coming through. Here's a look at our early warning pinpoint Doppler. So yes, this is the only live Doppler in the state of Connecticut where you do see those yellows, those reds. That's where the rain is really coming down. I want to zoom in right over here into Hartford and New Britain where that rain right now is moving through uh, into Glastonbury soon, into Windsor, into Vernon and Tolland. Eventually you're going to be seeing some of this and also areas of Middlesex County too in Haddam, in Killingworth, in Deep River, in Essex in Old Saybrook. So uh, stay tuned once again here on Channel 3. Also on the Channel 3 uh, the Channel 3 weather app we'll be keeping you posted as well. Here's a look at our early warning satellite radar. So yeah, all this moisture is moving north. So this is with a warm front and this is what is producing these showers. So for today for the Travelers Championship, yes, it is possible we could see a couple isolated storms, some showers too through the morning hours and maybe even a couple showers this afternoon. But it looks a little bit more optimistic at least. So if you're heading out right now, it's muggy, it's foggy, it's rainy in some spots of our state, but once again, a little bit better this afternoon and unsettled weather will continue through the week ahead. It's very dark looking over here in Waterbury. We've got a couple rain droplets on the screen. 66 degrees visibility is down in a lot of spots because once again of fog, so definitely take it nice and slow. Temperatures are in the 60s, maybe even at 70, 70 degrees in Hartford now. We are expecting today to get into the upper 70s and the low 80s. So very seasonal for this time of year. Dew points are in the upper 60s, so it's a muggy, kind of sticky feel. And yeah, that wind has been shifting over to the south. That's ushering in some of that milder air. Now we do have the New Britain Bees game going on tonight at 635. Make sure you pack the umbrella just in case, but we aren't expecting, once again, widespread showers like this morning, temperatures in the upper 70s. And this will also be live on the wax. If you do miss it uh, in person, you can actually watch it on our channel as well. So here's a look at our early warning weather future cast. You could see through this morning uh, about 9 or 10, maybe things start to ease up for the coastline. And then by noon, we start to see major improvements. So for the afternoon, we could still definitely see a quick shower, a quick downpour. Not out of the question, especially for some areas of western Connecticut as that continues to push through, but uh, into tomorrow. Tomorrow's actually looking like a nicer day, so we will see, see some possible sprinkles, some cloud cover in the morning, leading to possibly some peaks of sunshine in the afternoon and some more showers running through. But once again, for specifically areas of western Connecticut, we've got a lot of rain icons on our forecast for the seven day. Uh, you can see specifically Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's when we're watching the chance for some heavier rain, and I know we do need some of that heavy rain too for our state. We are in a deficit for the month of June. Breezy for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, an isolated chance of some showers and storms. So of course, we'll keep you posted on that. Temperatures in the 